So, That's second week of the oil consumption test. Yep. It's failed. <laughs> guys garage like and subscribe Welcome back to this guy's garage. Today we're talking about the oil consumption issue again and how it relates to the transmission in the F-150. The 10-speed transmission is at the center of this oil consumption issue and I'll explain why. But before we get going too far, take the time and hit the subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss what's coming up next week. Alright, so let's get into it. Like we were just talking here, uh, Ken, like the, the oil consumption's a problem yes. but it's a symptom of another problem yes and you know what rpm does this thing drive down the highway at one and a half two. yeah 1200 rpm yeah. now that is the problem with these engines uh what they're experiencing especially if you're going through oil is low rpm pre-ignition so we have this symptom it's the lugging engine well it's caused by the 10 speed transmission it has, and it's backed by a 330, a 355, or a 373 rear gear ratio, which are all too low, this engine, not to lug. The effect of lugging is low speed pre-ignition. And what happens with low speed pre-ignition, you get piston slap, you get uneven cylinder wear, uh, and it's usually caused by oil consumption. Oil consumption. You have a lugging engine that's consuming oil, low speed pre-ignition. People that have these trucks may experience this when you're climbing a low grade and you're at a low RPM because the truck wants to operate in the one the 2000 RPM RPM gap. A naturally aspirated engine wasn't designed to be lugged. No. So that that's what's going on. It's got probably got a 330 rear gear ratio. You're cruising down the highway at an RPM that this engine was designed to operate at. This is a five liter engine. This is what was, you know, it was for the Mustang. Yeah. And you know, this thing was, if you were driving around and beating the piss out of this thing, it it would it'd be happier. Work better. Yeah. It would work better. But, yeah. and the other problem is everything is like drive by wire. So you have no control over the transmission. You have no control over the throttle. Everything's a negotiation under the hood. Most of these trucks weigh in around 7,500 7, pounds. A, a small displacement, naturally aspirated engine wasn't designed to go down the highway at 12 to 1500 RPM. It just wasn't. Not even 2000 RPM. This, this, comp, this engine wants to live between 2500 and 6500 RPM. That's what that engine was designed to do. So it's you would contribute this back in the old days to bad driving habits. Yeah. But the the bad driving habits are built into the With truck because you you have no control over it. Said it. As far as all these technical service bulletins, Genesis being twenty fifty eight where they knew about this problem in two thousand eighteen. They knew about it in two thousand nineteen and they knew about it in two thousand twenty. All these engines that were changed, because there was a lot of engines changed. The reason why Ford stopped changing engines is because it didn't fix the problem. The problem is built into the truck. So this five liter engine doesn't like this transmission, and this 10 speed transmission doesn't like that motor. When you get up in the morning, you don't know what it's gonna do. Yeah. When you start it, sometimes you yeah. it's, it's called, and I start it right now, yeah. it'll, it'll move ahead and back. It'll, it'll yeah. just, from startup, yeah. which is not normal. Yeah. 
or coming by your house, mm -hmm. I mean, first year, mm -hmm. most of the time it's around 3,000 or 3,500. Yeah. Well, if you see me going by and your yeah. kids are out there, yeah. you, think them, you can hear them, yeah. the motor yeah. revving up. Yeah. Here comes some clown now, you know. Yeah. I'm going to start beating this vehicle on my yeah. road. And, anyway. But, uh, yeah, like, they don't shift proper. They they don't downshift when they're supposed to. They don't upshift when they're supposed to. It's 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 just a problem. The number one rule in racing, the number one rule in engineering, the number one rule with anything is you have to match your parts. If you don't match your parts, it's going to cause premature engine failure. We're going to do a oil consumption test week two. How many miles we got on this thing? 21, 110. And I'll look up how many miles were on it last week. And uh, so uh, let's have a look at your dipstick. And then yeah. I'll put mine in. And we'll go from there. Oh, jeez, that oil's on. Look at the dirt on that oil. Yeah. There's not 2,000 kilometers on this. That's all fuel inside your engine. Oh, yeah, that's down. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's way down. Yep. That's a drive to Halifax. I know yeah, I that's the original dipstick right there. Yep. All right, let's see what the... Let's see what the... The measured stick has to say because this is this stick is measured to know when you've gone through a quart of oil. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! So, That's second week of the oil consumption test, yep, it's failed. Yes, so, so the 10 speed transmission was the answer to the question that nobody was asking after. 2,500 kilometers, my neighbor's truck failed the oil consumption test by Ford standards. So now that the truck has failed the oil consumption test, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. This widened range dipstick, Ford claims is 1.9 liters variance, or two quarts. See if they're going to be honest with us because we're going to take some oil out of Ken's truck. We're going to find the bottom mark and we're going to fill it up to the top mark and see what the variance is. I believe it's more than two quarts. So, if that's not a reason to hit the subscribe button, I don't know what is. Um, I'm going to hand you off to another channel right now. It's called Engineering Explained. And this video will do a great job. You can see it right here. It'll be in the end screen. It'll do a great job of explaining what's going on. I can tell you what's happening, but it takes an engineer to explain what's going on inside the engine. I'm going to hand you off to them right here. Uh, let them know that I sent you over. Uh, I have no affiliation with them, but always nice to let them know where the views are coming from. The subscribe button will be right here. My channel logo. Just click on that. You can hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. There'll be a couple more here. Try to put something a little lighter in there so you can have a laugh because this whole topic is entirely too depressing. So, catch you in the next one. This guy. Out. Uh, what am I leaving out? What am I leaving out? In my opinion, it's ridiculous. This guy's garage. Right. Like and subscribe.